Hi guys and welcome back to another video tutorial from scarmotion.com. Here what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we can uh, take our little um, wrecking ball rig that we've got uh, which is available at scarmotion.com. You can download this rig for free and um, we're going to do this cool little effect where we have the pendulum swing but it also has this nice overlapping action and this offset with all of the uh, links. So there's a really simple process involved and um, we'll get started. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm just going to delete, I'm just going to load up a new rig and get rid of all of this, so bear with me. Okay, so the way that this rig here works is that we have this base node and that is the driving force. Everything else is connected um, to that uh, the little blue base node up the top there. And you can select each one of these links and then rotate them. Um, any direction you like um, and they're all linked together. There is another video tutorial that shows you how you can parent and link this rig together. If you're interested in that just um, have a look at the scarmotion.com website and you'll be able to find um, this rig um, unparented. Okay so the first thing we need to do is uh, we're going to figure out how uh, the how many frames the swing should be just one swing from left to right so what the timing of that that swing is um, I've just gone ahead and um, set this to 35 frames in length it might be 35 it might um, we're going to increase that uh, to probably around about 350 later on but for a start I'm just going to make it say 35 I'm going to go to frame 17 and selecting the very top link link 1 I'm just going to rotate that over to the right and I'm just going to dial in a factor of say 50 okay and then I'm going to go back to the first frame and I'm going to have it go back the opposite direction and I'm just going to dial in a factor of negative 50 okay and then I'm going to copy that first frame so we've got 17 frames from there to the uh, in fact let's uh, select that frame there and we'll put that at frame uh, 17 that's better so frame 18 I've just slipped it over there a little and I'm just going to select that very first one uh, control C and then I'm going to go to frame fr uh, 35 and then control V and so now if I play that we have our swinging pendulum. Now you can see that it's not really that interesting. It's, uh, it's looking a little funky and what we need to do is we need to adjust the timing at the moment. It feels like it might be a little slow so what we could do is we could shave off a frame. Let's um, bring this frame here back to the last frame and we'll bring the middle frame back one. Now you should make sure that um, the spacing between uh, the very first frame and the middle frame and the middle frame and the last frame are exactly the same. So there's 16 frames uh, to here and then there's 16 frames to here. Okay. So opening up our curve editor, if I just um, go into graph, just uh, select all the way over here, you'll see that there's a little arrow. Go into graph and I'll bring my graph in side here so that you can see what's happening. Sorry, I'll just undock that. And you can open and expand the, the curve editor. You'll see that uh, we have this nice slow out but over here we have we have to just ramp that out. There's no uh, tangent handles in poses so we actually have to insert keys so that it gives us that um, nice slow in slow out that you'd expect from other uh, other animation programs. Okay now the other thing that we need to do is we're just going to reduce our um, final frame. I'm just going to make that 33 and just say OK and now let's just play that. OK and you'll notice that it has this little hit over there and the reason for that is is that what we need to do I don't want this to dot dock um, is we need to just insert another frame and just have it ease out okay so 
Let's just have a look at that again. Dock it over there, that looks good. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so what we've done is we've added a couple of keys there and it's just um, fed into the endpoint and it has a slow out at the beginning and a slow in uh, on the final frame and so now it has that nice even pendulum swing. That's great. So once you've done that, what I would recommend is that you save that out, just call that pendulum start um, so that if you make any mistakes you can just open up this scene file and uh, continue. Excellent. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to expand uh, the number of frames for the scene and let's say that it's 350 um, and now what I'm going to do is with our animation here I need to copy and paste that animation a number of times I think it's probably around about 15 to 18 swings we want it to just keep swinging and swinging and swing, swinging until it um, finally dies down in um, in amplitude and frequency. Uh, sorry, just in amplitude, the frequency will always stay the same. So we'll select uh, keys here and I've just done that in the dope sheet and I'm going to hit control C uh, if you're working in uh, PC um, and then I'm going to select the last frame it's uh, command C if you're working in a Mac and then select the last frame and then paste it, control V and uh, command V if you're working on a Mac, control V if you're working on a PC and just keep doing that with every last frame. Now you'd need to um, pan on over and just keep appending that to the last frame and go all the way through just before the end. That'll do. I think uh, up until around about 221, that should be fine. And then if I have a look, if I ex extend the uh, dope sheet here, you'll see that now what we've done is we have a number of these um, cycles that have been copied and pasted. So let's just go ahead and we'll play that and make sure that it all looks good. Yep, fantastic. There's no little pops. And now what would be a good idea is probably save this out as Pendulum Swing 2 before we start doing any other uh, changes to it. Okay, but now the next trick is, is that what we want to have happen is we want each of these swings to die down in amplitude all the way until uh, the very end. Well, what I like to do is I just start with the very end and I'm going to go right to, the, to this last frame here and we want that to basically just die off um, onto, say, frame 0. Uh, sorry, at uh, to zero rotation is what I meant, not frame zero. And we'll just type in zero on the last frame there. And we'll just reduce the amount of amplitude on the end. Now I'm going to just select each one of these and reverse engineer it so that as we near the, the beginning um, it's getting closer and closer to the uh, to the middle line here. This uh, middle line that represents zero as far as you know the zero rotation. It's basically straight up and down. And to make life easier for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to notice how we've got all these uh, triple knots on these bottom ones. I'm going to leave the middle one, but I'm just going to select the other ones either side, just on these last four or five and I'm just going to get rid of those because that's going to make it easier for me. I'm going to leave all these other ones um, because they'll be quite useful later on and then I'm just going to quickly start to block in these so that they're closer to the uh, oops got to be careful trying to select each of those knots. I'm just selecting those with uh, left mouse key and we're just going to have these get a little bit bigger so you can see that they're really small here but now we're just letting them get a little bit bigger with each swing and the idea is that what you want to have happen is that there should be a straight line going from here all the way down to the very start 
okay and so there's no real point um, getting really picky about it at the beginning you just want to quickly um, place these and the, the way that I'm selecting these is I'm left mouse clicking in my curve editor and then I'm hitting control okay so if you hit control and left mouse click you'll get these up and down arrows okay so it should look something like that 